Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well and uh, welcome back. I have a bit of a haul video here, uh, mostly books. Um, I did get a couple of Yankee Candles from the discount stores, a couple of backups of the ones I have already, and some uh, new sheet masks that I found at Marshalls and Winners, and of course some um, books, uh, which I cannot do without my books. And uh, if you notice, I did get a, a new, well it's not a new uh, picture, I've had this in the guest room. I just like switching out the pictures around the house just for a little change of scenery and that. And I did purchase this one at HomeSense, I believe. And uh, I love, I just saw it across the store there and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. It was just so beautiful, so serene. We have some woods here, just a stone's throw away and we take the dogs out in the woods a lot. And there's nothing like, nothing calming and more relaxing than just a nice hike in the woods. So I thought this one was just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors, the sun streaming through the trees. Um, ah, yeah, I just really, really like that one. So um, yeah, I, I'll start with the candles. Uh, now these ones I've had before. Uh, this first one is a jasmine green tea. And uh, I'm about a third of the way through uh, the first one and it's actually got a pretty decent throw. I do love tea scents and yeah this is definitely a tea scent. Um, a little bit of a greenery note with it there with the green tea um, but yeah this one's actually doing quite well for me so I thought I'd get a backup because who knows if you'll see it again. And then this one I've also had previously and this is Bay Breeze. I love the label, the color of the wax. And yeah, this one is um, probably my favorite ocean air type of scent. Oh, it's just so brisk and you can kind of get that salty air note in there. Oh, I just really, really like this one. Um, so yeah, I was happy to see that in the, in the discount stores. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the candles, and then I'll go through the books. Now some of these I found in uh, Winners, Costco, uh, used to be called Chapters, Indigo. So this first one I found at uh, Costco, and it's by Sarah Wilson. It's called First We Make the Beast Beautiful, A New Journey Through an Anxiety. And I've suffered from anxiety since, I mean... I can remember incidents way, way back when I was just young, and I just have a very strong fight or flight response to things. And usually it's not stay and fight, it's usually get the heck out of there. Um, so yeah, I just, I remember being anxious just over any little thing, and um, I'm still that way. And uh, I learned to cope with it, uh, learned to live with it, learned a few different strategies to cope with it. But after my son Garrett died, um, the anxiety just overtook me. I started having panic attacks. Um, at one point, Frank had to take me to the emergency department um, because I was just, oh, my heart and everything. And it was just awful. So I finally went to the family doctor and I said, please, please, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of this. Uh, would you please put me on something? So she did put me on a low dose of anti-anxiety medication and it has made a huge, huge difference. Um, I don't feel like running away from situations anymore. Um, I stay and fight, as they say, and um, yeah, I, I found a huge difference with that. So I'm only a couple chapters in so far, but um, I'm really enjoying it so far. So if you have... Um, if you're like myself and suffer from anxiety, then uh, this is a really, really good book so far. And then there is uh, this, I found this cooking book. I know I always buy these cooking books at Marshalls and Home Sense or what, and you know, I hate cooking. Like, um, I don't mind baking, but Frank, Frank's kind of the cook around here and he's a very good cook. Um, so once in a while I'll buy it and try to get inspired. But this one was kind of cool. This is the no time to cook. And it's not so much I don't have time, I'm just, I just hate cooking. So, um, 100 modern simple recipes in 20 minutes or less. And just the way they lay it out is just, 
it's just kind of fun. So this is just different ways to stuff a pita pocket. Um, some of these I never, I would never even think of uh, doing. And then they just have these fun little diagrams to show you how to cook. And I'm a kind of visual learner. I like this way better instead of just having a list of instructions. Um, I'm a little more motivated when they have like little drawings and everything like that. It just um, makes it much more appealing to me. And yeah, they got speedy salsas, um, all different sort of things, uh, different things to grill, um, different shish kebabs. Um, yeah, I, I'm really, uh, I'm really, really liking it so far. I, I mean, I haven't tried anything yet. Um, different ways to fill a fajita, that sort of thing. So yeah. Um, Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm almost 54 years old. If I have, don't like to cook now, there's no hope. But anyway, I'm trying. So the other books I got, these were at Indigo. And they had three books. Um, Six dollars each or three for ten. So I got the three for ten. And um, this one takes place in London in 1885. Uh, about a magician or an illusionist and um, well, I'm not going to go into nitty-gritty detail. Um, I just finished a book by this author, Susanna Kersley. Uh, and this is, oh sorry, Named of the Dragon. And um, I think this takes place in England too. Yeah, anything like historical or place takes place in Britain or Scotland or Ireland. I, I I really like those, but I did I did like her other book, and this is Blood Red. And uh, this takes place in Spain, I believe. Um. Yeah, there's some kind of little. It's like an island or something, and there's secretive little things going on. It's kind of a little mystery novel. And this is Preston and Child, and these two write uh, books together, and they, they write books separately. Um, but I really, really uh, like their books, and I was happy to see a new one come out. The first book was called Ice Limit, and this is Beyond the Ice Limit. Um, so yeah, I just absolutely love their books. And this is by Minette Walters, <coughs> The Last Hours. And this takes place in England uh, <clears throat> during one of the plagues, the Black Death, uh, 1348. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I, I, I love medieval books. Uh, there's just something about that time period and um, I'm just quite fascinated by. So this has gotten very good reviews and um, yeah, love those ones. And then sheet mask wise, they had some new ones out. And this is by Cosma Tea. It's a green tea soothing moisture mask. Uh, you get 10 masks for $12.99. Now I have tried their face washes. And I got a couple of new ones here. Um, they're like uh, jelly wash uh, cleansers. So they come out as a very thick uh, gel and then it foams up as you wet it. And there's tiny little particles in it. Um, but I absolutely love these. If you're not into heavily fragranced um, uh, face cleansers, these are a little bit um, heavy on the fragrance, but they do smell wonderful. So I really like the facial cleansers. So I thought I'd try their, uh, um, their uh, green tea soothing moisture mask. And then um, this Rata and Company, it's this is a New Zealand brand. This is made in New Zealand. Uh, this is Nourishing Rosehip and Raspberry Oil Sheet Mask for really dry, dehydrated, and distressed skin. Uh, so it does have shea butter in it. And I think hyaluronic acid too. Shea butter, rosehip oil, raspberry seed oil, olive oil, vitamin E, coconut oil, almond oil. So it's got a lot of really yummy ingredients for the skin there. 
and uh, turmeric. Uh, now I've been taking turmeric pills. Uh, it's supposed to work as an anti-inflammatory. Um, <clears throat> I thought it might help my back and my uh, sore muscles, etc. Um, this is a turmeric face mask. So the uh, turmeric is in the ginger family and it uh, acts as an anti-inflammatory and it also has honey in it and honey acts as an anti-inflammatory and it's very moisturizing also. And this one's a Jap uh, Korean product, I believe. Or is it? Where is it made? Oh, it's yeah, it's made in Korea. So there's, uh, what's the name of it? Oh, Nature Love. And then uh, they also have this new one. Mimi Yang. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Mimi Yang Animal Seal Aqua Mask. So the mask actually looks like this little seal. And just going through the ingredients, um, it's got a lot of just those ingredients I like for the skin. So you get 10 of these um, for $12.99. Uh, again, these are Canadian price. It'll be a little bit cheaper in the states. And this is um, this is made in Korea, but it's uh, the company is called Naturally Upper Canada. <clears throat> now this one is different from the sheet mask. This one is a peel off mask. So, so the solution, so the solution is in here. And then you leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes. And once the gel's dry, you just peel it off. So it's been a while since I used the uh, peel off mask because I'm so used to using sheet masks. This one has chamomile and honey, and both are quite soothing. Uh, the honey, again, is anti inflammatory and moisturizing. Oh, I'm losing my voice just a sec. Oh, I just got to wet my whistle there. So these, um, you get four masks for $6.99. And they had another one that had a bunch of berries on it, like strawberries, blueberries, that works as an antioxidant one. Um, so yeah, there's a few new ones out there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, it for now. So some of my favorite things, candles, books, and cheat masks. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And... Um, I hope everyone's doing well and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.